I know I get big money for my expert analysis, but this is pretty simple. If you put a fastball up in the zone, over the heart of the plate, this guy's going to turn it around in a heartbeat. This one was no shocker. Now here comes the Ranger skipper out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman, as he sends a soft bouncer to the right side of the infield. Loney ranges to his right, and he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Now batting, third baseman. Striding in once again, Danny Valencia. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Tried to hold back, but this is popped up, and no one will get this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and he chased up and out of the zone, a swing and a miss. Some movement now in that Texas bullpen as a left-hander starts to get cranking down there. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. And here's a ball hit in the air. Beltre is there for it. And the inning is over. One run here on one. Leading off for the Rangers. First baseman, James Loney. Into the windup and the pitch. James Loney oh, is out. the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1 and 0. The 1 and 0 delivery. And the changeup is way low that time. Weak roller right side. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now batting number one. Here's Elvis Andrus now. He's working on a one for three thus far. Squared that one up just a little late. Oh, he's clearly hitting off the fastball right there. You don't hit one that hard if you're not looking for it. Oh, and he lays one down here, and this is going to be a tough play. And a great yeah. athletic play to get him. Man, wow. Now that's a gold glove caliber play there. You got that right, man. There is a lot of moving parts on that barehanded play, and it is a thing of beauty when everything comes together just like it did. You can bet he'll be watching this one again after the game. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. He's not messing around this inning. He's attacking the zone. He's showing lots of confidence. He's 0 and 2 on this hitter after having two quick outs. Nice job. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Set down in order. It's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Carlos Ruiz stands in as he checks his swing here for strike one. And now the Ranger bullpen swings into action. A lefty and a right-hander are throwing down there. Now he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Here's the pitch. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Therefore, it is Loney, and there's your first out. The batter number 14, second baseman. Kike Hernandez. Ready for another. Chance. Kike Hernandez. He comes in for 0 for 2 thus far. Number D. Gordon will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Now a swing and a fly ball. Mazar is on his horse. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now back. Left fielder. Billy Hamilton. Runs up to bunt here, but he missed it for strike one. Runs up and gets this one down. Odor fields it cleanly, and the throw is too late. He's on with a beautifully placed bunt single. The batter number seven, shorts. 
stop. Stepping Corey in and ready Seager. for another shot. Corey Seager. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Look out. There goes Hamilton. Hit swung on and missed the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Five runs, nine hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. And the runner's breaking for third. Hit sharply on the ground. And the stolen base winds up as a moot point as the inning is over. One left for Seattle, and it remains 5-2. to two. D. Gordon will stay in the ballgame now as he comes on to play second here. Hunter Strickland has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Rupnit Odor is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. And Dan, that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Shot foul over towards the dugout. And he lays off for ball one. Look, Matt, they're down three in the eighth inning. Take a pitch, get hit by a pitch. You've got to get base runners. Manufacture right now is the time because you only got six outs to play with. And this is fouled back and out of play. We're in the eighth inning now of a five to two ball game. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. That pitch right there, he's trying to keep him from getting his arms extended. If it's out over the plate more, he can obviously do a lot of damage with it. So he chased out of the strike zone on that one. Nomar Mazzara goes down for out number two in the top half. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. Boy, he looks strong. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Three up. Digging in once again. Kyle. Leading off for the Mariners. Designated hitter, Kyle Seeger. Into the windup and the pitch. Line but speared on a hop. And on one pitch, he's retired. Up next for Seattle. In now, Ken Griffey Jr. He's two for three with a home run and a double. Now the Rangers get a reliever up and throwing in the bullpen as a right-hander's begun to warm up out there. And this is fouled straight back. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. Here it comes, 0 and 2. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw in time at first for out number two. The right fielder, number 28. Here's J.D. Martinez. Martinez. Career numbers with A.J. Griffin, three for 15. He also has one home run. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Mazzara racing back. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. That was a great job of driving that ball, extending his arms very well, was able to get it over the right fielder's head, one hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. And ball four now as he'll take first on the intentional walk. Well, they felt it was better to take the bat out of the hands of a guy like that. He's just too damn. Dangerous, and they decided they'll take their chances with the next guy in the lineup. Nelson Cruz will start to loosen up in the on-deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Mazar going back on it. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Mariners leave a couple. They're still out in front, five to two. Ready to start the ninth as we get a stunning shot there of the Seattle skyline on a Your great night for please. baseball. Nelson this Cruz is going to go ahead and stay in the ball now game. Playing third base, number 23. 
Edwin Diaz Nelson, comes Clint. out of the bullpen to shut now things down here in the here. ninth. Taylor Motter is into the ball game as a defensive replacement. He'll be the new shortstop here. This change for the Mariners. Adrian Beltre is at the plate as he looks at ball one. A one and zero delivery, right over the middle, knee high. He's set. Here comes the one one. A fastball that just misses inside. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. And a foul tip is held onto here behind the plate. A nice job by Ruiz to preserve the strikeout. Jonathan Lucroy. Jonathan Lucroy comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. The left fielder number Here's Jared Hoying. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Well, you're in trouble at the plate if you fall behind this guy, 0-2. So that was a good job to hold up right there. Fly ball out toward left center field. Hamilton is under it. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Man, they've already put the all-time winning streak record in their rearview mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away. We could say this now. This is one of the greatest teams in the history of baseball. 5-2 the final score tonight. Trevor Bauer records win number 16 on the season. Edwin Diaz hammers down the save as 43rd of the campaign. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Final line score tonight. First for the victorious Seattle Mariners. Five runs, ten hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the Rangers, two runs on eight hits, no errors. They left six men on base. The winning pitcher is Trevor Bauer. His record is now 16 and three. The loss goes to Martin Perez. He falls to nine and nine. Time of the ball game: three hours and six minutes. A reminder that extra post-game trains will be available at the King Street Station, located just north of Safeco Field. Metro Transit buses are also available at stations on First Avenue, Royal Brom Way, and Edgar Martinez Drive.